here is all of the things that you need in order to load the Amnion streamer onto the Amnion Express device. I actually don't need the ruler, but we, want, we just wanted to demonstrate for you, show you the length and a couple of, uh, of pearls on how to get this loaded easily, properly, and consistently. So you'll notice that the, the pre-cut streamer comes to an exact length of 40 millimeters. And what I've done is just taken a marking pen that is available on every OR set, and I've just made a mark at the 20 millimeter mark here that you can see. What this does is it gives us the 50 yard line or the halfway view, and this is the depth at which you want to load this into the uh, Amnion Express device. So ideally, we would like this loading it all the way just halfway in and let the fork capture right at this point. The reason this is, is that it makes sure that you've got uh, equidistant limbs from either side. Remember that the deployed fork is uh, exactly 30 millimeters. And while if you've got it doubled, if you've got it doubled, then that means that the 20 millimeter half distance here will always be too short to get caught in the tube. So if one were to load not at the 50 yard line view, but say loaded at say the 10 millimeter view, then you'd have 10 millimeters on this side and 30 millimeters left on the other side. You can imagine that 30 millimeters, you could run the risk of having it uh, sort of caught up inside the tube. So we mark this at the 50 yard line to guarantee that there's never any capture in the next thing uh, that we do is we're going to get this loaded on the inside of the slot and get it ready for pre-deployment. The streamer is wide enough that it won't fit through the slot just coming, so we fold the streamer in while it's dry in half, at least for the first half of it, and that allows us then to have easy access directly into the slot, and I'll load that right to the 50-yard line shot there. So now you can see the dry Amnion streamer loaded uh, correctly in the slot at the 50 yard line. You can see the mark that we had placed on the Amnion streamer, the purple, is shown just there at the top. And you can see that I've got it directly loaded in, guaranteeing an equidistance uh, between the two limbs once it gets folded down and captured. Now we're going to hydrate the graft. And you'll see that once it gets hydrated, it becomes quite flimsy to work with. This was one of the challenges with working with Amnion is that once it is wet, it becomes pretty difficult to maneuver around. And as I say, it'll hold a stitch, but it can become a little bit tricky uh, to do it. It's nice and strong, but very flexible. And that's the loaded Amnion streamer after it's been wet. And we simply then now need to uh, insert it into the terminal portion of the, uh, of the Amnion Express. And so I do that by now just taking my thumb and we slowly and consistently insert it until we get to the second button. You can see the Amnion disappear. Then, if you take a look at the very uh, tip of the uh, Amnion Express inserter, once I'm pushed into this position, you, uh, you can see just the hint that something's going to go, but it's completely protected within the sheath of the uh, distal portion of the Amnion Express, and now it's totally ready for insertion.